Welcome! E aí, galera, beleza? Bem-vindo à nossa comunidade. Welcome to our community. Hey, what's going on guys? It is OGC here. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be doing Void Sage 96 Perfect as a level 28 human casting no abilities. So uh, let's jump on in and they, there's a Hydra in this stage. Um, there is some crazy stuff. There's also a bunch of mechs uh, and warlocks. Warlocks are a pain in the butt to deal with. So we're going to go with my standard PvP formation. Right now uh, on this bottom side, we have one pack of silver swords. It would be great if it was gold, but our gold cap's not high enough. We have uh, one pack of gold swords down here just to offer some more tankiness. We have three packs of gold archers getting Warhorn boost from Avalon. We have Cizeo, Bazar, and Nora. Uh, pretty much a power side down here with these three all getting Warhorn with Avalon. We also have our Azur dragon down here as well, which will just offer some, some more tankiness and all of that good stuff. Top side, we have two more packs of uh, gold swords, one more pack of gold archers. We have talk a pack of silver saints, just filling the gaps. We have Belrog, Virian, Elena, Rufio, Grims, Gan, Vega, and Jax. So we're going to try doing this without casting any abilities. That's going to make it super challenging, but that's what it's all about. So we can see right right at the beginning our Badger runs to this bottom portion and we're just going to blow some holes down here. We also take out the Hydra. Now we're on to the max. The max are going to be a, a lot more tanky and our dragon just charges forwards. This is like the only time that you really want your dragon to charge forwards that much and maybe he can put out a pulse and deal some damage. There are mummies uh, in, in this stage so they're going to be resurrecting stuff like crazy. Now we're moving on to the um, Warlocks. Our uh, Badger is actually affected by Vengeful Spirit and our Dragon's kind of just pushing him along. Uh, it's kind of funny. Top side, we collapse. So we completely collapse on, 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 on the top side. We can see one pack of Max, one pack of uh, Berserker type things running down. They're about to get a Moral Boost uh, along with uh, some Archers uh, in, in, I think that's Warlocks for, from the enemies or, or Mummies. Uh, however, we have enough range stuff still alive and a Nora that we're just able to take out everything. Nora MVP of this fight, for sure, 100%. Let's go Nora. So let's go take a, uh, a peek and uh, see all the goodies. We still had 32 seconds left as well. Interesting. All right, so our Zero Dragon has Noble Blood, three damage abilities, double scales, and hero pred. Nothing too wild, pretty, pretty standard type of thing. Uh, we have our Dire Swords. So these are level nine. They have 20,000 health. Their attack is higher than their health, which means on the outside, after entering the void, we went through all of our prisms and put them to plus troop attack. 14% evade. These guys are going to get hit by everything. They're just going to die, then get resurrected. Uh, we have our um, Zen Archers. Again, these guys are level 9 with 29,000 attack. Uh, not, not too shabby, 20% crit rate. Um, we next have Cizeo. He has uh, Tiny Mighty 5 as far as Prism. That's going to benefit all of our troops out there. We have Badgers with Adaptive 3 for some Life Seal. Can't go wrong with Life Seal on Badgers. We have uh, Belrog. He's there for overall talk because talk is pretty much mandatory in everything. We have uh, Jax for a little bit more damage. We have Nora. She has uh, Dragon Storm level 7 Prism on. That's why she's so OP. We have Grimms there as Ammo Wagon, basically for Jax. Uh, we have Gan there with the plus one book for um, Nisha's Blessing, Virian for all the beautiful swordsman buff stuff. Uh, Gan again, uh, because we really like Gan. Uh, we have uh, Vega. For this stage, Vega, uh, all of her skill stuff really doesn't matter. Um, Elena has Dragonic Defiance for the Dragon Mage set level five. Avalon has a uh, level three um, prism for warrior buff and Rufio, of course, because he is Rufio. Damage dealt. Archers went huge. Uh, Badrix did not ca cast Bad Split, so his damage was down a little bit. You can see the tankiness and Dragon did a ton of healing. And this is the formation that, that we use. Uh, so if you guys want a copy of this formation, this is also my PvP formation at the time of recording this video. All right, so let's go get those uh, juicy rewards. And um, yeah, at the end of all of the Void videos, we're actually going to have um, the Void playlist. So if you're struggling with any stages, feel free to check out the Void playlist. They might help you out a little bit, they might not. But as always, please like, share, subscribe, all of that wonderful stuff. And uh, yeah, take care, have a wonderful day, guys.